Hi guys, Mark Savage here. Welcome to my channel. Today we're looking at Kawasaki's VN1600. This is such a massive bike, they named it the Vulcan Nomad 1600. And even kept going to call it Mean Streak. She's a big girl. Coming in an impressive over 400 kilos in weight. Kawasaki fitted her with a 1552cc engine. Comes in about 94 cubics, I think they say. V4 and auto valves on this one. Automatic valves, so no messing around there. So servicing should come up quite cheap. This model also came with the touring kit. It's a classic tourer, it's got another name, which meant that basically it's got these huge boxes. They really are huge. Twin exhausts, both come from this side. Sounds quite nice. Full dress, so nice foot pedals. Sissy bar, really comfortable seats both these are. And this lovely fuel tank, 20 litres, four and a half gallons. That's some touring. A bit of safety for these bars. I would suggest they're a must. Comes on the classic tourer. But if you're going to drop her, at least won't damage her. That's a choke. You don't see many of them. Don't really need it much, I must admit. It does say start it, and if you need to put it on, then put it on for a little bit. But it's such a big engine. From no matter where you look, this bike is huge. She absolutely motors along. To be honest with you, you don't seem to get a third gear. I don't know why well, I've got five gears. Fourth and fifth, I suppose, just for cruising. This is a lovely little bike. You intend to do 60 miles an hour max on summer breeze in your hair, although we have to wear my bike helmets here. I've seen some people ask, how fast does it go? And the comments generally say that if you want to know how fast it goes and what brake horsepower, you should be buying one of these. Either one. This is 185 brake horsepower and it will just tear down the road at a million miles an hour. That's not what this bike is for. This bike, as I said, is just for lovely cruising along. Shaft drive. Not the biggest of back tyres, but it's all purposeful. And in there, guys, is fully air adjustable suspension with adjustable dampeners. Kawasaki really did push the boat out thinking what they need to do this bike. It's very clever and very handy. It's not awfully difficult to operate and the book gives you all the guides that you need. So when it comes to servicing, it's just going to be oil filter, an air filter, and your two plugs this side, which are very easy to get to, and your two plugs this side with your air filter. So when it comes to a monster bike, this has got to be it. Okay, it's Kawasaki. Um, Yamahas do the XVSs and Suzukis and so on. It's not a Harley Davidson, but you're not paying Harley Davidson prices. These are a lot, lot cheaper, half the price, I guess. And you still get the huge smile factor and the looks from people when you're going down the road. Very good instrument panel here, guys. It's not just your miles per hour. It hasn't got a rev counter. Again, you don't need it. But it's not just got the fuel light. It's got the fuel gauge here as well and tells you time. I think that's really handy. You know, guys, how much I hate just having a fuel light. But with 20 litres, you are going to get some miles. And turning it on, you put the key in and you turn this here. It's much better. And what view do you get? Well, a lovely view. This one has a screen that I've not fitted yet. It's very heavy, I must admit. And also has the twin fog lights. Again, not fitted yet. So all in, if you're after a really comfortable cruiser with a massive engine that you can just cruise and feel king of the road, and then VN 1600 Vulcan Nomad Mean Streak this is the one for you guys. I'll do another video when I've polished it all, cleaned it all, and I've put all the lights on, the twin lights at the front. I'm not gonna get carried away with LEDs. And the screen on. It's always a little bit difficult when it comes to the screen. Should you put it on, should you leave it off? I cruised along this one about 20 miles when I brought it home, and I've gotta say it was lovely. I didn't actually feel the wind, and it's a cold day. And I just can't decide, screen on or screen off. Uh, tell you what guys, put a comment. What do you reckon? Screen on and screen off. When I've polished it all and done another video of it, and put the lights on, because I definitely want the lights on, maybe you can decide and uh, I'll take your advice guys. But all in, what a beautiful bike. 
Okay guys, couldn't help myself. Put the screen on and the lights. So what do you think with the lights and screen? You may notice she's looking a little bit more shiny. That's because I've spent the last like three hours polishing her and making her look lovely again. Put the screen on. I couldn't decide. I said I was going to do another video of it, but you know what? I decided to put them on today. I've just been out for a ride, and yes, I'm going to start her now. I put them on, didn't I? Nice screen and the lights as well. Should we take a look? Well, there you go, guys. Screen on and lights on. I'm not going to wire them in. I've decided not to. We've all had a bike behind us, and this is the question here. These, they, they wobble. So I can imagine the car in front of you is going to think you're flashing them all the time. So they look pretty, but I'm not going to wire them in. However, I did promise I would start her. It does look pretty, so let's start her. First off, the alarm. And there she's running. a little thumper. Well, there's no little about there, is there? There you go. Done what I said I'd do. Guys, like, subscribe, check out the videos around the outside. Keep watching, guys, and I'll keep making them. Thank you for watching.